Hello friends, welcome back to another lesson. So we are going back just a little bit and reviewing a few things that I think are really important for us to be able to grasp very well to move forward. And today we are going to go ahead and start with our review topic, which is text to text connections. That's right. Remember, as usual, our lesson is aligned to the H Fundamentals curriculum. Okay? Okay. So we're going to start as, uh, as we always do, reading our clear learning target. I can make text to text connections using a Venn diagram. So, needless to say, that we first are going to read or listen to two separate passages, and then we are going to go ahead and use those passages to make text to text connections, okay? On a Venn diagram. Okay. But before we do that, we have an activity. And this is a vocabulary activity that we need because next week we have our cluster two um, quiz and 10 of the questions have to do with the vocabulary words. So there are two ways that you have you can have access to this activity. One way is by clicking on here and then you will go to Nearpod, okay? Now your teacher has to assign this to you. So you will not have access to this Nearpod unless your teacher assigns it to you. So in view of that, I have also, uh, I also have it right here embedded in the PowerPoint. Um, you can choose. Uh, my recommendation is if that if you have a code that you go and you do it on Nearpad because it's going to be way more fun to do it that way. Okay, well, here we go. So this is parts of speech showdown and we're going to be talking about three different parts of speech, verbs, adjectives and nouns. So our first word is soccer. And the sentence is, soccer is my favorite sport. So friends, tell me, is soccer a noun, an adjective, or a verb? What do you think? Okay, I hope you got it because it is a noun. That's right. Okay, so let's go to our next word. And that one is, is, and it's the same sentence. So we can go ahead and read it all together so that we can practice our diction. So let's go. One, two, three. Soccer is my favorite sport. So I ask the same question. Is this a noun, adjective, or verb? Hmm. Very good. Yes, I think I heard many people saying verb. Okay, so. The next one is favorite. So we have the same sentence again. So how about we read it together? Soccer is my favorite sport. Okay, good job. So in this sentence, that is an adjective. Yes, because it is modifying the word sport. Yes. Okay, next one is religion. There are many different religions. Okay, let's go ahead and read it together. One, two, three. There are many different religions. So friends, is religion a noun, an adjective, or a verb? It is a noun. Yes, excellent work. Let's move on. Our next word is popular. So let's go ahead and read this the sentence. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and read it first, and then you can repeat after me. Are cats or dogs more popular? Are cats or dogs more popular? So it's popular a noun, an adjective, or a verb. Well, in this sentence, our word popular is actually an adjective. You Got it. Next word is experience. So let's go ahead and listen to the uh, sentence and then let's go ahead and read it together. Working there was a good experience. Ready? Let's do it. 
Working there was a good experience. So is experience a noun, adjective, or verb? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It is a noun. Woo, good job. Okay, so let's continue with our next word, which is forget. Don't forget your keys. Let's read it. Don't forget your keys. So is the word forget a noun, an adjective, or a verb? Haha, <laughs> good job. If you said a verb, you are correct. Let's go ahead and look at the next one is believe. Some people have different beliefs. Let's read it. One, two, three. Some people have different beliefs. So is that word belief a noun, an adjective, or a verb? Yes, this one is a noun. There is one similar that is a verb, but it's not this one. This one is a noun. That's right. Okay, and the next word is uncomfortable. That was an uncomfortable situation. Let's read it. That was an uncomfortable situation. So is uncomfortable a noun, an adjective, or a verb? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And it is a, an adjective. Yes, good job. Okay, so friends, this is part of the lesson today. So now that we have finished with our warm up, as I mentioned today, we're going to be making text to text connections, okay? So we are going to be reading two different texts. We're going to be reading Behind the Veil and we are also going to be reading Different But Still Friends, which is the one on the right, okay? So in order for you to access these stories, you are going to have to click here, okay? So let's go ahead and click on that. And as you notice, both stories are going to show up. Okay, so they're right here. So here we have different, but still friends. And friends, have you noticed? It's also, there is also an audio um, here. So you can listen and you can read it at the same time. And after that one, we have behind the veil. Okay, again, I have provided you with the audio for this. So you can listen and read at the same time. Now, one more time, these stories, they both come from our curriculum, the Edge Fundamentals. And this one is on page 187, if you're interested in accessing that with your in your book. And this one is starts on page 193, okay? With the title and all of that, okay? So that these are the two stories that we are going to compare and contrast. Now, there are different ways that we, we can do this, right? We can read it, obviously, but we can also look at the illustrations. And in order for me to walk you through this activity, I'm going to be using the illustrations. Deal? Okay. So here we are. Let's go ahead and look at the illustrations. And remember that we're going to do this with a Venn diagram. So as we have talked before on the outer section of the Venn diagram, you're going to write the differences and in the center, you or we are going to write the similarities. So we're going to start by writing the title of the stories. So um, I'm going on this side, let's go ahead and do um, behind the veil. And on this side, we're going to go ahead and do different, but uh, still friends. Okay. Okay, so to do this, I came to my whiteboard because, well, I need to teach you. I need to show you what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of it together and then I'm just going to stop the lesson and I'm expecting you to finish it on your own. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start by creating my or drawing my Venn diagram here on my whiteboard, like I mentioned, okay? And on this side, I'm going to write behind the bell. And on this other side, I'm going to write different, but still friends. Okay, that's the second story. Okay, and then remember that in the center, we have similarities. 
Okay, so how are the stories similar and how are they different? So I'm going to go to my Edge Fundamental book and I'm going to open it to page 187. That is where the first story is located. Remember that I have mentioned that already. So here we go, different but still friends. And then I'm going to open another book because it's going to just be easier for us to look at it. I'm going to go to page 193 where we have the title and the author and all of that. And then the story actually begins in uh, page 194. Okay, so what I'm going to do so that I can show you how we can do the, uh, you know, the Venn diagram and compare and contrast the two texts I am going to go ahead and going to show you this over here. So let me go ahead and bring it closer to you. And you have this available to you, okay? So look at the two girls, okay? And this over here is Nadia. And this one over here is Farah, okay? And if you notice, Nadia and Farah, both of them have their hair or head covered, right? Okay, so that is exactly what I'm going to go ahead and right here in the center because that is the same okay so i'm going to say both girls have their heads covered because that is a similarity right okay so if i read the first two sentences in each one of them so i'm going to go ahead and read the first sentence indifferent but still friends uh farah says my name is farah i go to high school in florida okay so this is here it's different but still friends now this one says it, this one is not uh, nadia telling the story somebody else i will never forget the week i spent in washington dc okay so right there we have the setting for both stories and they're both in different places. So that's exactly what I'm, I'm going to do in my Venn diagram, okay? I am going to go ahead and say that here, Nadia is in Washington, D.C., or her story happened in Washington, D.C., and for Farah, her story happened in Florida, right? Right. So I don't want to give you any more. Uh, I don't want to say any more. I want you to actually go ahead and do it. Um, but there will be more similarities and more differences that you will be able to find as you read or and listen to the stories. OK, so that is your assignment right now. I want you to go back to the PowerPoint. I want you to click um, on the link and access the stories so that you can listen, read, and finish the Venn diagram. So your job is to finish the Venn diagram. I am looking for at least two more items in each one of the sections, okay? So that's your job, friends. Thank you for your attention, and I will see you next time.